I want to show you how to draw your eye to what's most important in the frame. So I want to show you how to go from this to this. The best thing to remember is the brightest thing in frame is the first thing your eye is going to go to. So based off of that, let's begin. What I want to do first is make sure my color management is set properly. So I like to work in ACES CCT, it gives me the most consistent results shooting in red raw, so there's no need for an input transform um, because all my metadata is there. I like to work in an sRGB color space with a gamma curve of 2.2 because that's what most people will see on their computers. So now that I'm in ACES, I'm gonna go up to my workspace here, turn on my video scopes, and I'll see that my information is clipping in the shadows and my highlights aren't exactly as high as they need to be, but uh, that is okay because we're about to fix that. So let's go over to our curves and we're going to bring back all the information we need to. Then I'm gonna only select the luminance values. I do not want red, green, or blue as a part of this adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this here and bring that to a good spot. I can see little bits of my waveform getting up here and clipping. So we're in a good spot there but the rest of the image is looking a little bit washed out, so let's adjust as needed. The shadows are looking good there, so I'm now going to go and bring back some highlight information. So right now his face seems to be around 640 IRE, which is good. So now that we have a pleasing looking image overall, we're gonna go ahead and squint while looking at the small viewer here. And what I'm looking for when I squint is where does my eye go first? There's a lot of bright spots and my eye doesn't go to the faces at all. Honestly, first thing it goes to is the upper left hand corner with this bright picture here. Then the next thing it goes to is this really bright spot here in the reflection of the window. Next thing it goes to is this chair here. And then the last thing it goes to is the table. My eyes are not going to the actors which is the most important thing in the frame. So let us add a parallel note. Right click, add node, add parallel node. The reason I like to do a parallel node is because I want to have as much raw data to work with as possible. And if you add a serial node after the first node that you've added contrast to, you're not going to bring back the black information in quite the same way, even if it is a 32 floating bit system. So let's go ahead and select our bottom node here. We'll make a power window. The first thing we notice this picture frame, I'm going to go ahead and draw a window around it, select our magic wand tool, go to the qualification tool, our luminance values, and then slowly chip away at anything that's too dark we don't want to qualify for. You only want to adjust things that are too bright in the frame. So that's looking good there. Denoise it just a little bit and then bring up the low end a little more. And soften that out. That's looking good. Cool. So now if I turn off the magic wand tool, I can go ahead to my offset and bring everything down equally. That's looking darker but natural still. I'm going to go ahead over to my notes. I'm going to add another parallel note. And I'm going to do the same exact thing where I draw a power window around anything that's too bright in this general region. Great. Magic wand tool again. Qualifier, luminance values, and select only things that are too bright in the frame. Soften it out a little bit, denoise a little bit and bring up our low end a little more to compensate. Back to the magic wand tool and our offset and let's bring it all down. Do the before and after, that's before, that is after. Cool. It's now matching the refrigerator reflection down here and that's you know playing to my eyes pretty naturally. We'll add another parallel node. Squint, look what's the next problem. Okay it's the table, that's a huge issue. So we'll go ahead and make a new power window. Let's draw around only things that aren't necessary in frame. So his hand is arguably necessary. 
So let's go ahead and keep it just in case. Draw around the rest of the table. Select the magic wand tool. Soften it out a bit. Size it down. Try to fit the table a little nicer. Pan it over to the right. This time I'm not going to qualify since there's too much different things going on with luminance. And then I'm going to bring down the gain just a tiny bit. Bring down the gamma just a tiny bit. Right there is good. I'm going to bring up the size because I'm noticing the power window is slipping here on the right. So if I bring up the size a little bit, let's look where the power window is. Cool. And then if I squint again, my eyes are going immediately to this bright spot here, which means we have to do an overall vignette because I think we can bring down this area, we can bring down this even more, so we can get a little more light off the back of this chair here in the open sign. So what I'm gonna do is create a custom shaped vignette around them. Select the magic wand tool. So I'm going to invert it by doing that. I'm going to soften it. It's only affecting everything outside. I'm gonna deselect the magic wand tool here and I'm gonna to go to my gain, bring that down just a tiny bit to whatever feels good. Bring down my gamma a little bit. But now what's happening is the shadows around my actors are a little too dark. So if we bring up our video scopes, everything's starting to get a little too low and below zero. So I'm gonna start bringing up our shadows because if there are darker shadows than what are around our subjects, our eyes are gonna get drawn to those. We don't want anything to be too intense looking unless it's important. Cool. Let's take a look at the before and after. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the power window nodes here and go into full screen mode and then deselect the power windows. So this is what it looked like with just a normal curve added on. This is what it looks like after you draw your eyes to where they need to go. Much more pleasing. 